Good morning. <laughs> like I didn't know you were already there. Uh, good morning. Um, yeah, things have been a little crazy recently. Um, a little crazy. Running around with my head chopped off, it seems like. I mean, although, obviously, my head's are, or it's not chopped off. Uh, very, very busy. I have filmed everything that needs to get filmed. Uh, I did, on Saturday, I did my pepper. Uh, or not Saturday, on Sunday, I did my pepper update on Easter. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you'll have to, you'll have to see that for yourself. <clears throat> and then I also did, uh, my hashtag moon challenge, uh, part four. Um, and I also have been videotaping a ton for the chicken coop. The problem, oh, and I have another keto, <laughs> keto with cast iron I did too on Saturday. So I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I haven't had time to uh, edit, so I'm. They're gonna come out a little, a little late, a little slow, uh, but I, I've got to get. I want to edit them and put them together. Uh, a lot of these videos are all like multiple pieces, and I have to put them back together. Um, you know, because I like to turn the camera around. You know, you talk to me, and then you talk. You'll, you'll look at what I'm doing, and then you talk to me. I like doing that. Um, I also like the idea of having multiple cameras, but mm, I can't afford multiple cameras right now. I am going to get a system eventually here within the next, I'm hoping the next couple of months, um, where I can, I can film and use two cameras at the same time and then be able to switch back and forth between them. That's kind of what what I'm trying to go for. The other thing I'm trying to do, um, and I, I really want to do, and I, I haven't done it yet, but I'm getting really, really close. I want to, in my chicken coop, I want to have cameras. I want to live stream, which I can do right now with my laptop. I just don't have the equipment to do it. But I want to live stream my chickens all the time. So I want two cameras in the run and probably two cameras in the coop. And I don't know. I'm thinking of doing a live stream where <clears throat> they kind of rotate and switch around so for you know five minutes you're watching one five minutes you're watching the other five minutes you're watching another one and it just kind of rotates I think that would be kind of fun uh, I like the idea of doing a live stream uh, in the chicken coop just because there's so much fun and entertaining to watch uh, and kind of mesmerizing really so uh, let's see. Oh, the chicks. I think their chicks are just about a week and a half old now. Uh, they, let's see. Thursday. They were born two weeks ago this coming Thursday. So I'm really, really excited about that. That's so cool. Two weeks. They're getting big. Um, okay, so on day three, we lost one of the dark Cornish. We have right now one that just got a name last night. I didn't name her. I'm not into naming birds, but she got a name. Her name is Fried Chicken. So we have one. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to it. I, I, she looks fine. I've picked her up and looked at her. She looks just fine. She's just favoring one leg. And sometimes it almost looks like it's a le that same leg and the wing. It's weird. I, it almost appears, and the way she walks, it's almost like she had a stroke. It's it's very strange. But she's drinking water, and she's eating, and she's walking around, and she's getting trampled a lot uh, because she is really kind of dee dee -de and likes to sit in the path uh, where everybody wants to go. <laughs> Got them kind of channeled. <laughs> um, but 
<clears throat> yeah. She, she'll walk two or three feet. Or two or three feet. She'll make two or three steps. <clears throat> and then she just lays down. And then she gets up and walks a few more and then lays down. So keeping an eye on her. Um, other than that, she looks fine. We had two that were that had a um, uh, sticky butt. They were both dark Cornish. However, um, you know that that cleared up almost immediately. Uh, I gave them. Well, I've been giving them uh, probably about five or six times now. Um, maybe not. Maybe that four times. I've taken lettuce. And I've diced it up really, really small pieces. Um, and I've given them, you know, a handful of lettuce. And I think that caused the sticky butt to go away. So, other than that, they're doing really, really good. They seem to be very healthy, very happy. I totally see why people call them dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, they they remind me of velociraptors. <laughs> Long neck. <laughs> Just the way they run. <laughs> they remind me of velociraptors. They're so cool. Um, the feathers now are on the wings. The wings are filled out. The feathers on the wings look really freaking awesome. I'm sure as time goes on, they're going to get a lot darker, but, uh, yeah, pretty freaking cool. I'm excited. So anyways, the whole purpose of talking to you right now or today or whatever in this video was to let you know that I did record. I did all my, my recording and everything like I was supposed to. I just haven't put it up yet because I've got editing I got to do. And well, let's be honest. Work is working me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Long hours. It's like Christmas still. I just, I don't understand. We had, well, I think it was in January, February. Maybe it was in February. I had a couple of days there, like, like a week, week and a half, where... I was getting off work at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I can you know, go home, get stuff done, and ready for, you know, cooking dinner and this and that. So, and then, um, I only have Saturdays, really. I mean, I can work on, on the chicken coop on Sunday, too, but I prefer not to. I, that's kind of kind of my Sabbath, but, um, even though it really, in my opinion, it should be Saturday is the Sabbath, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I only have Saturdays really to work on the chicken coop and that's a lot of work to get done in only three weeks. So the wife calls or says to me last night over dinner she's like yeah um we're booked out on Saturday you, you're not going to be able to get anything done we got to go do stuff for the Cub Scouts I'm like oh great and then this morning she's like you know what I know that you want to spend time with your your family with and with the Cub Scouts and that kind of stuff. However, it's more important at this point in time for you to get that chicken coop and chicken run finished. That blew my mind. Um, I really and the kids are going hiking, uh, and they're going to do some camping thingy. They're not actually camping, but the Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts are camping. The Cub Scouts are not. But I don't get to participate very much with them right now at all. And I don't have much of a life right now, I'll be honest with you. 
you know, I got to go out the door every day, no matter what, at seven o'clock in the morning. And I've been getting up at five to try to get some laundry done, dishes done, a little bit of cleaning, wake up. And then I'm getting home at seven thirty, eight o'clock. So not a whole lot, not a whole lot is, um, not a whole lot of time to do things outside of work. However, that is what it is. I'm gonna yawn. I'm holding it back. Um, it is what it is. Um, life goes on. You just kind of have to work with the punches. I mean, really, that's all there is to it. There's nothing I can do about it. I have to work, and there's nothing I, you know. Sometimes you just have to sacrifice. Uh, I've been told there is a light. Going again. Mm. At the end of the tunnel. Um, things are supposed to lighten up at work. I did give the uh, the boss. I had a conversation with him. I says, "Look, I respect you, man, and I'm willing to to kill it for you, but this is killing my family, and I have to have home time. And uh, he's totally cool with it. He's going to do what he can." to lighten me up and make things easier for me so that I can get home at a decent hour. One of the most important things in the world we have is family. You know, I just, time is short. We only have so much time here on this earth. And once that time here is up, it's up. The life we have and the experiences we have and the things that we're doing, we have to appreciate everything we've got. we got to do the best we possibly can with what we got. Life is definitely short. And you don't realize how short it is until you're faced. I mean, I didn't anyways. I didn't realize how short life was until I was faced with the end. And then I didn't really appreciate it. Really. Until I started watching my children grow. It was weird. Like, when they're babies and they're young, somewhere in the back of your head you think, Oh my God, this is amazing. This is going to last forever. And then they turn eight, nine, ten years old, and you're like, what happened to the baby? That didn't last very long. I don't think I spent enough time with them. I don't think I spent enough nurturing and, and play. And there's only so long they're going to want to sit on the floor in the living room and play Barbies or Hot Wheels so long they're going to want to imagine and play hide and seek before you know it they're going to get to the age where that's baby stuff that ain't fun anymore that's they're more they're into other things they're more adult now think I'm even an adult yet. 38 years old, I don't think I'm even an adult yet. <laughs> and these kids think they're all grown up. What little they know. <laughs> I think there's some 80 year olds out there who don't think they're quite grown up yet. Don't live your life with regret. Wishing that you worked harder, did more, spent more time with your family, loved ones. I know there's people, I, I know people personally 
that regret not spending enough time with the one they love and then they end up in a divorce or their loved one passes away before they can spend enough time with them. And of course, the end comes so quickly and so unexpectedly. Even when you're expecting the end, even when you're expecting it, you know it's coming. Even if you're in hospice, it's still sudden. But I have learned and I'm learning that the end of this life is only the end of this chapter. There's always another chapter. There's always another life. There's always another story to be told. We're just part of the story. So, anyways, I'm here. I'm at the big W-O-R-K. I hope you have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're still here with me, please, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below this video and give it a thumbs up. And then that way I know you are here and I will, uh, well, I will return the love if I can. I'll try. So. Until next time. Bye for now.